The tournament, which was hosted by the Ocho Football Academy, registered the likes of Young Eagles, African Lions, Touch and Go, as well as premiership rivals, Life Fighters and Mighty Gunners. Against all odds, Life Fighters emerged as the eventual winners in the final after beating Touch and Go by two goals to one. Life Fighters head coach Agnus Chabala Elemu stated that the competition allowed his team to get back into the rhythm they had lost during the two-week break from league action. This is the part of the practice which we have tried to see the backup of the team that I'm having right now, who should be placed to, and the, the fitness level. We've just been practicing for, we resumed the training in the past, the last week. So this was just the two way the players where their fitness level is. Winning the Ocho fundraising tournament will be a massive boost for second placed fighters who will be taking on African stars next Saturday in Ochoarongo. Meanwhile, the coach of Touch and Go, Moritz Kairabeb, took positives from his team's loss in the final and applauded his players for a good all-round performance. The other teams are also surprised by our performance. Yeah. This is very young boys. We are still young. And it was a foundation was laid by my previous predecessors. So I have to follow on their foundation that they laid. So I'm so very, very, very happy. Actually, we played against a uh, most experienced team with uh, history and we learned a lot from them and it was a motivation for us. Ocho Football Academy's founding member and patron, Seth Govaseb, expressed gratitude towards all involved sponsors for their kind gesture. He also thanked the fans for coming out in numbers to make the event memorable. It was really a success. It was a one-day event, but then it was a success. All the teams that were uh, that registered, they were all of them were here, including the Premier League teams. Our team really uh, they performed beyond our expectation. We were really surprised by their performance, and then we want to say to the boys, guys, you are doing us proud. Keep on, keep on pushing. Uh, the first game we lost uh, to Life Fighters, but only with the late-minute goal. So it was really showing us that our guys, they are really improving, they are growing. The tournament was hosted to raise funds for the Academy's Under-21 competition set to take place in May this year. Nicholas Teremo, NBC Sport News, Ventuk.